Welcome to the Cine Sports Talk Experience. They know sports. They know movies. They know nothing else. Obviously, Tuck is a very fun guy. You know, he's, if you've seen his film Hunt for the World of People, he's very you know, creative. He's very, he likes to have fun. So what was it like working with him, you know? Yeah, listen, I was a, uh, I knew Tucker a little bit um, before uh, I was working with him as a, yeah. a, when he was a director. Uh, and, and I really enjoyed his films, Hunt for the Wilder People yeah. and uh, What We Do in the Shadows. That was uh, a great one. A lot of fun. Yeah. And you know what, full credit to Marvel for uh, hiring a, a director with this kind of comedic sensibility and then actually letting him do what he does well. Definitely. Yeah, because you know, um, big movies can get they can, they can get lost. Like you know, the studios want to make their own movie, but it seems like he yeah. made his movie here. You know. Yeah, this really does feel like a Taika yeah. Waititi movie, and uh, it was a pleasure to not only work with him, but just to see how he managed such a big ship uh, for 80 plus days. So I'm sure he's been working on this for about two years, actually. Definitely. And just to ask about the Marvel movies, mm. do you have a favorite MCU movie, or? Uh, I think it's this one. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. This yeah. is the, I mean, in my opinion, it's the funniest Marvel movie that I've ever seen. Definitely. Uh, and just the spectacle of it, uh, you know, it's colorful, great characters, great, great female characters as well, which uh, is, is, is great to see. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot in it. Definitely. And um, you've worked on a film called Dread, which is yes. a favorite of mine, yeah. yeah. I want to ask, like, how is it different working on Dread compared to this one? Compared to Thor? Well, I mean, quite different. You know, yeah. uh, Dread was the little engine that could. It, it uh, was a movie that we made for $30 million, and this, I don't know what the budget was on this. But a lot it, bigger. Uh, yeah. It's a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, and you get a lot more time. Money buys you time. Um, you know, with that being said, I'm really proud of Dread, and uh, particularly the fact that it's sort of really attained this cult status. Like on, yeah, on the internet, like people just want more of it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Someone should pay attention to that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I see, that, I see it on Twitter and Facebook. So yeah, right? Yeah, you think exactly. the studio would go, huh, a lot of people want to see more Listen, of that. I'm hoping for that, man. Like, they make yeah. some sequels to some really bad movies. but Oh, yeah, but yeah. I want to see one for Dread. So yeah, me too. Definitely. I just want to ask, on CineSportsTalk.com, we cover sports and movies. So yeah. Is there a favorite sports team of yours that you have? Well, yeah, it's not a sport that's big here in America, but I'm a, a fan of the All Blacks. I'm a fan of a game, rugby yeah. in general. Did you go to the, the game versus Ireland? In no, Chicago? A long time ago. That was an amazing game, yeah. which the All Blacks lost, which... Uh, My mom was upset she watched that game. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm glad. Upset? No, I'm so glad. The Irish, they did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Uh, listen, I like all sorts. I like basketball, um, uh, American basketball. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else I enjoyed uh, watching the uh, America's Cup. Of course. And I'm not just saying yeah. that because the Kings. No, no, won. of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, Are you a baseball fan or not really? Yeah, from what I haven't really seen much of it, um, you know, and I've been to uh, a couple of football games, which uh, I found confusing at first, but um, you know, pretty entertaining. Obviously, yeah. And do you have a projects upcoming that you're looking forward to that people will? Yeah, sure. I, I shot this film uh, with Sofia Vergara and Andy Garcia called Bent. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's going to be coming out, I think, at the end of this year or early next year. And uh, it's kind of a modern take on a noir classic. So I'm okay. really, really looking forward to that coming out. I'm looking forward to that, yeah. Yeah. It's awesome talking to you, dude. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs>